Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over streams a little more. Um, in the previous video, we talked about the stream and even a little bit about where it would be useful. Another example of where it may be useful is when you're accessing information on your own computer. So for example, if I have this file people.csv, um, I'll go over that in a second here, and it's a small file, I can use a future, right? Get the information, load it into application memory, and do something with it. But what if it's a really huge file? What if it's like massive books and books of information? Well, you could load everything into the memory, into the application, but that might take a while to read, right? It might take a while to go and, and read and read and read. So what you might want to do, instead of reading the whole thing, you would read like the first line and send it as a stream. Read the second line, send it as a stream. Read the third line, send it as a stream. And you do that so that you don't have to sit around. You get information as time goes by when you're reading it rather than all at the same time and wait for it as it is being loaded into the system. Okay? So that would be a great example. Let's go over an example of that now. I have this file, people.csv. CSV is a comma-separated value. It's a format. It's a file format, but it's also a format of putting data down. The first line is called the header, and almost always you have quotation marks followed by a comma, thus the term comma separated values, and then you hit the enter key, a new line after every value. So the first line, like I said, is a header. It's kind of like the um, interface. So it is. it gives you like, what's the first value going to be? It's John. What's the last name? It's Doe, and so forth. So here's the header, here's the rest of the data, all followed by a comma, the same style, okay? Let's, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is get this, load it into the application and print it on out. So I have file, my file equals new file, people.csv, okay? And then what we talked about before, we would do my file dot, actually, what I would do is future, um, CSV equals my file dot read as, let's say, la as lines. Okay, so each line would be a new list. And then I'll say CSV dot then, because it's a future, right? Print. So that's a callback. So the parentheses is understood. You'll get the value of the variable. I usually use E, right? And we'll put it inside of there and we'll print it all out. And there it is right here. Okay, and it goes all the way, all the way through. And it lists everything. So again, that's load everything into application memory, print it on out. And like, so like I said before, what if you want to stream? What if you want to read the first line, then the second line, then the third line? So what I'll say is stream CSV equals, but this is going to have to be open, open, read type stream right there and then i'll say so csv it's a stream so it wouldn't be then it would be a listen right and <clears throat> we could do print again but if we do this it prints all of these so these basically are numbers, of course, um, they mean, I, I don't exactly know what they mean. There's some type of encoding, there's some type of value that equals a character itself. So in order to convert it, what we do is E, we use the anonymous function and say print. We imported the convert, so it would be utf8.decode E, okay? I would like to type this. I don't know what this type actually is. When you run run type type, it's some value that it's not readable. So I don't know what that is. One day, maybe I'll look it up in terms of what that is to type this a little bit better. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it dynamic, okay? And if we run this, and there we go. Lists it out, first line, second line, third line. So listens to the stream. The stream is opened up right here. It listens to the stream, it prints out the value, decodes it into actual English um, as time goes by, and it prints everything out, okay? there. So that's, um, that's another example of a stream.
by the way, while we're at it, let's do a few other things. So I was able to read this. What about writing to it? Um, open. There's an open write. I could do that, but it wouldn't be stream. That would be IO sync. That's the type. IO sync is kind of like a stream. It's it's it inherits from the stream classes themselves, but exactly what it is, I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not hundred percent on that. Um, by the way, open write. It will not just um uh open this up, but it will actually delete everything and write and fill in the blank fill in the blank space. So it would overwrite this information. I don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna write right here is say mode file mode dot append okay so instead of overwriting it i'm just going to append add on to it but then we can't do csv dot listen we'll do csv dot write and i'm going to say write i should put a csv values but um hang on hang on um hello there it should be um you know the the whole name first last name for name last name but i'm just going to cheat a little bit and just write it down so there we go and if i go back to the csv it should be printed out there um and if i did the whole name and stuff like that that would be great so oh by the way as you go through here there are all sorts of other values. Play around with them, see what they do. Um, I would really like to just go through these and explain each one as it goes by, but I'm, as I read through the documentation, it's not clear to me what exactly they do. What I end up doing is just experimenting with it, or if I need to do something, I kind of ask around and say, hey, what what do I do to get this thing done and look it through? So the documentation, generally speaking, um, in languages, not just Dart, is a little confusing, if not outright confusing, um, to beginners themselves. So just my opinion on that one. All right, so that is with streams. And I think this is the where I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to probably add to this in the future, but it may be a little bit of while itself, okay? So um, thank you very much.